go in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I fucking ground that one. Oops. How much did you grind? Just a little bit. No. Oh, monsters. Taking this off? Nah. I checked it so many times. I don't know what I did wrong. But, but <laughs> here's my question, though. So you got this one like that. So mad. What about the other side? Did what you about? Have that one put already? No. I'm just getting the top A arm on, leaving the bottom one off. So, would it be smart for us to check that side? Yep. Yeah. Man, I can't believe I grind that thing. And welcome back to the channel. So, this is Paul with Garage Dad Talk. Um, do I got something for you guys? We've been um, talking amongst a bunch of friends of mine, and what we, we decided to do was um, not only focus on stuff we got going on in the garage, like you've seen that we've been working on the Chevelle a lot recently, we're gonna have stuff coming up with the Corvette, but I also have friends that have stuff that they're working on in their garages. So, what we decided to do was kind of do a collaboration. Um, sometimes all we really need is just kind of that extra little push and, and some help um, with, with the task that we're doing, right? Because anytime you start working on a project, you tend to get overwhelmed. And I, I don't know about for all of you out there, but there are times that I just flat out get lazy. So what we decided to do was every once in a while, we're going to take a break from working on our stuff and go into each other's garage and, and help out. You know, the, the channel's called Garage Dad Talk. So what I want to do is I kind of want to influence and push and help those that just might need that extra little nudge. I don't mind wrenching. I have buddies that don't mind wrenching. And we decided, you know what? Let's get all these projects done. And we might even reach out to everybody out there and see what do you need help with, right? And we don't mind actually going there if it's within reasonable driving distance or something like that. You know, form a good relationship. We can get in there and knock some stuff out and help you move along. So. Today, we got my buddy Mike Good and our other friend, Mike Mitten, um, going over to uh, Mike Good's house and working on his C5. Now, this thing, here's a little backstory on that car. <laughs> he picked up the car fairly cheap because he wanted to do a build on it. And he wasn't sure if he was going to do drag racing, roll racing, drift. He was going to do something with the car. So he thought he'd get a cheap platform to get started with. Well, it turns out that this car was just completely littered with bugs in it. Everything from wiring, the engine, interior, um, suspension, drivetrain. It's been a lot for him to get to this point. So as of right now, he got to a point where he got the new engine in there. He rebuilt the transmission. That's in there. The cradle's in place. And he needed some help with some suspension. So me and, and Mike Mitten decided to go by and give him a hand. So that's what you'll see today in the video. Once again, thank you very much for, for staying along with me this long. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, please share, you know, it's all for free, but that way we can help build this into something great, you know, and who knows if something ever comes up that I'm ever available or even close by, I don't mind coming by. We can chat up in the garage. We can see what you got going on. And um, that's what the channel is going to be about. So stay tuned. We'll have some more stuff coming up. But for right now, let's look at the fun we had at Mike's house. All right. Oops. How much did you grind? Just a little bit. No. Oh, monsters. Taking this off? Nah. I checked it so many times. I don't know what I did wrong. But, <laughs> but here's my question, though. You got this one like that. So mad, what about the other side? Do you have that one put together already? No. I'm just getting the top A arm on, leaving the bottom one off. So, would it be smart for us to check that side? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I can around that thing. Oh, it's like. I mean, you're not talking about a lot. Yeah, it's not that's what I was saying. Like, you're talking about the washer stand. And then my other question is, what's the thing for? Those are stock ones. Those are the old ones. Okay, so, so that's the one I knocked the, the washer off. Ah, uh, okay. So you, you know, I'm so off. pissed I did this. All right, I'll go on. <laughs>
here, right? That sounds good. Sounds good with that Vengeance racing cam in there. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so tell me a little bit about the car, man. I know you have a lot of stuff that you've been doing recently to it, so. Yeah. Um, so this car, it's a uh, O2 C5 G06. Um, like seven or eight owners, been wrecked a bunch. Um, it's not a luck car, but uh, okay. I got it for that reason. It's just it's fun to drive and you don't worry about it much. Um, you know, obviously, it's a Z06 manual transmission. Um, the seats were completely shot, so I put four of both seats in it. Um, Those are clean, dude. Which I really like. I suggest that if you like staying in the seat. Are they com they're pretty comfortable then? For yeah, I mean, I haven't gotten to drive the car with them much, but when I sat in them, I was like, yeah, this will hold still, you know? Okay. Because I, I went on a mountain run with the old seats and the bolsters were just shot and you were literally like holding the wheel to stay and drive the car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, I also, uh, I used to have an LS1 Camaro um, in the year that I came with an LS6 short block mm -hmm. and I had a head to cam setup on it. I already had that engine sitting under my bench. So I took the LS6 out, stuck that one in. Nice. That engine made 448, the wheels and 417 foot pounds with a massive cam. So it's not like it's... It's a dyno clean number, but it's still pretty quick. What uh, cam is it? Uh, Vengeance Vindicator. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, that sounds nasty, and I have a video clip of that. So. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a solid cam. It's got a Monster Stage 3 clutch. Um, Six buck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a trap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On or off. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, I eventually plan to hit it with some nitrous and see how far I can take it, and then pop it, and then put the heads on that one and stick it back in, and do a show. I don't know, something, whatever. Okay. Um, and then, uh, put an angle kit on it. Yep. Um, ultimately, I just really want to drift this car. That's all I really want to do. Um, you can do it. Fun. I think you have plenty of horsepower and everything to do that. Yeah, no, it's got enough power. To, mm -hmm. I mean, when this engine was in the Camaro, it would, yeah, it would get sideways on, you know, relatively <laughs> command, you know. Okay. So, you know, well, it's not all the power in the world, but it's plenty of what I want to do it. Well, it's not a bad looking car, dude. When you rolled up to Cars and Coffee that first time, it's, uh, it'll definitely turn some heads, especially with that cam. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, uh, I might, the only thing I hate about the big cam is the, is the surging, and I think it's just because I've gotten older. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, honestly, I'm not opposed to, like, putting a fast intake on it and putting, like, a, not a stock cam, but a relatively small cam, because I forgot how nice it is to just pull the clutch out and just let the car roll itself through the parking lot instead of, like, do you think that, you know, the whole time. Do you think an LS2 stock cam would be a bigger upgrade? No. No, that's not big enough? I would probably do a ZR1 cam if I was going to go with a factory cam. Um, okay. But, I mean, honestly, like some of the aftermarket, if you call them and tell them what you want, they'll be like, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy if you just call them, like, this is what we'll do. And they're like, here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so simple nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's awesome about these engines, man. You yeah. can definitely do a lot with them. Yeah. Transmission? What's anything done with the transmission? No, or we just took it out because um, it was grinding in every gear. And my buddy who had taken one apart and put it back together was here and he helped me with it. He did it. But cool. He just took the case off and we put new uh, synchronizers in first, second, and third, fourth. Because I didn't, I didn't want to spend a ton on the transmission because it's like a you know slippery slope. Mm -hmm. But I had a part. So I'm either going to fully build it or just you know patch it back together. So okay. that's what I did. And cool. Man. When the time comes, I'll do something more serious. We'll probably be seeing you at the track, at least at the track. If not, we'll see it be dr drifting sometime soon in the near future. So. <laughs> I hope not. Oh. But, dude, like I said, we'll definitely have some more videos. And if you go to Holly at LS, Holly, what is it, LS Fest? Or uh, Holly? Yeah, it's LS Fest. I'm going to try it. Okay. If you do, hopefully you can send some pictures, videos of that, and I'll post those on here as well.